So the idea of linear independence is all about redundancy, or rather the lack of redundancy. Um, and it allows us to separate one complicated equation into multiple simpler equations. So let's consider, uh, say we had 2a plus ax minus b plus 3bx equals 1 plus 4x. So you can solve this equation um, and have been able to solve equations like this for a long time. And oh, here, by the way, I should explain x is a variable. So x is allowed to take values, say, on the real line. So we're looking at an e equality between functions here. And the tool that allows you to solve this is linear independent. Now, you might not know it as that. You might just think of it as like, oh, well, let's collect up the um, coefficients from the left hand side and the right hand side that are for x and for the the constants so for one so for one on the left hand side we have 2a minus b and on the right hand side we have one and if we look at the coefficients of x then on the left we have um, ax plus 3bx and on the right hand side we have 4x so we have two uh, equations with two variables and we can go ahead and you can solve and so forth right what allows you to make that step how do you know you can do that step right there and separate according to those well it has something to do with the fact that no matter how many X's you have you can't build one out of constant functions right you're, you're never gonna get a linear function out of adding constant functions together so we're going to try and make that a bit more precise. Um, there's also sort of the, the, the dual version of thinking about this, which is that if I gave you 2a plus ax minus b plus 3bx equals um, x squared and asked you to solve it, you would immediately say, oh, you can't solve that. And I could say, okay, why? Why not? And you say, well, because you, you can't you can't add <clears throat> some number of ones and some number of x's together and and end up with an x squared it simply can't be done well why not why can't you add those up to get x squared well the answer is because one x and x squared form a set that's linearly independent so you can't get one from the other so this is this is the idea that we're looking at. So the definition is that a set of vectors v1, v2, up to uh, vk is called linearly independent. And so most of the time, I'll just call it independent and forget to say the linearly because like I told you before, I'm lazy. Um, linearly independent, if and only if, Whenever you have a1, v1, uh, plus da, da 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 so you take a linear combination of the v's. The only way that it can equal zero is if it's necessarily the case that a1 up through ak are equal to zero. So the only way I can have a linear combination sum to zero means that all of the coefficients have to be zero. Okay, so let's go back to that um, equation that we started with, and I'll show you how this translates into um, a situation like this. So if we look at that same equation, and we gather all of the, the terms, so this is gonna be uh, equivalent. So I'm gonna gather all the terms for the constant. So we had uh, 2a minus b minus one times one, and then we had um, uh, a plus 3b minus 4 as our coefficient of x. And that added up to 0. And so now, since you knew, even though you don't know, didn't previously necessarily know the, the jargon for it, um, that 1 and x uh, are linearly independent, you were able to conclude that the only way that this linear combination could add up to zero is if 2a minus b minus one is equal to zero, and also if a plus 3b minus four is equal to zero. 
And most of the time, we write that as uh, 2a minus b equals 1, and a plus 3b equals 4, which is exactly what we started with back at the beginning.